is a 90-year-old female diagnosed with bilateral brachymetatarsia, longer than 18 millimeters. The selected procedure is an elongation using a corticotomy, an external fixation device plus percutaneous pin fixation with Kirchner or key wires from interphalangeal to metatarsophalangeal joint. This clinical and radiographic picture of the patient shows the intergital crease between third and fifth metatarsal bone, pythoniomic sign of brachymetatarsia disease. It is necessary to contemplate the equipment needed, which includes the mini external fixator, 3 mm cortex bone screws for each foot, and the mini Huchman re retractor. Previous surgical protocol, patient under epidural block and in dorsal decubitus position with the foot free and easy to move. The next step is to locate the base of the fourth metatarsal clinically and radiologically. Then, the longitudinal plane is obtained as well as the fourth radius of the foot. A perpendicular is obtained and at 45 degrees the foot is incised to place the first screw of the initial clamp, which is at the base of the fourth metatarsal. A critical step is to prevent the enough space between the clamps for the corticotomy and the quantity of elongation. Once the first screw is placed on the proximal hole of the multi-pin clamp, it is necessary to stabilize it with a temporal screw in the second hole before placing the next screw in the distal clamp to prevent bending or rotation. On the fluoroscopy, the correct position of the screws is verified and the rest two screws are placed. After this, the skin is incised at the ray level of the fourth metatarsal. Careful dissection of these tissues are made to avoid ligaments, tendon, blood vessels and nerve damage. It is placed where the corticotomy will take place with a key wire, which is used to perform multiple perforations, then completed with a small osteotum. Once the corticotomy is completed, it is verified under fluoroscopy opening. Further, closing the space at the corticotomy site. A key wire is placed through the distal, middle and proximal phalanx to the head of the fourth metatarsal. The clinical image shows the finalized procedure where the incision is closed subcutaneously and subdermally on the skin and the key wire end is cut and bent. Once finished, we can proceed to the next foot. At the end of the procedure, the surgical wound is covered with antibiotic, ointment and gauze dressing. Ten days after surgery, the patient will be able to start elongation, which is done every six hours with a quarter of the turn equivalent to 0.25 mm in distance. Patient instructions are given with a format to record the elongation. Finally, we can see the example of the comparison between the beginning and after 15 days of elongated.